Hello everyone, welcome to your midweek message this week. I wonder how you are at processing or coping with change. Some change, of course, it just happens, doesn't it? It may be a change of circumstances or maybe even a ch- change of health when you start feeling unwell. Somebody said once, the only constant in life is change. I think it was a Greek philosopher, a guy called Heraclitus, who said that long before Jesus ever Uh, was born. But I think it's not only that the only constant in life is change, it's that the only constant in life is the fear of change. None of us really like change. Things happen in our lives that take us by surprise and even when change we know that it's coming it's still difficult. So how do we cope with change? We've seen it in our own lives, maybe. We've certainly seen it on the world's stage with all that's happening in uh, Ukraine at, at the moment and, of course, the surrounding nations. We are going to see more change, I think, in the UK. More refugees that will be travelling here from other countries. Uh, more uh, pressures, possibly, economically. Change is always around. How do we cope with it? Well, Paul the great missionary, when he wrote to the church in Philippi, a first century church, coping with uh, the change in their own circumstances, he said this, he said, don't be anxious about anything. He said, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And there's a little template for me about how do I cope with change in my life? Number one, I hand it over to God. Don't be anxious about anything. That doesn't mean that we we deny our anxieties. It's that we spend time in prayer, just handing them over to God. Here's what I'm anxious about, Lord. I lay it before you this morning. Secondly, Paul says, in every situation, whatever you're facing, whether it's your health circumstances, whether it is change in the world, whether it's wider fears about what's happening, Um, across the globe we are in all those situations to give them to God and we do that by prayer prayer is primarily listening it's listening to what God has to say back to us it's hearing his comforting voice his encouraging words it's by listening in prayer the other part of that in terms of our uh, worrying about change and coping with change is that we also petition. Lists can be a good thing, you know. I'm not a great list maker, um, but uh, I have a book with a list of things in it, things that I'm praying for, things that are coming up in meetings. Lists can be good. And then fifthly, and lastly, Paul says, and do it with thanksgiving. How do we cope with change? Worship is one of the ways that enables me to balance the change that is happening in my life or in the circumstances around us. These are the ways, biblical advice on how do we cope with the only constant in life, which is change. It's those five things. So may God bless you as you head into the rest of this week. As you think about those things that you are anxious about, the changes that are afoot, and maybe take those five steps that enable you to cope with change just a little bit better. God bless and catch up with you soon.